Hi, welcome back to Team Woolly Sheep Reviews. Today, it's the Hornet Mini FPV Racer uh, wing. That's what I've got. I purchased it from flyingwings.co.uk. Uh, basically, it comes as a, a lot of bits. Which I've got to glue together. If a wing is only that big, couldn't it be one piece? Come on, flame wings. Right, it's not a problem. Time to get gluing. Right, what I've decided is because these ailerons, what they recommend it is a bead of Yoohoo pole along the edge and then stick it on and use some wing tape. Uh, I'm not a big fan of wing tape or hinge tape I should say now I've got some of these which are little nylon hinges they're pinned uh, they can be removed because the pins can be pulled out um, so instead of it relying on just a bit of flimsy tape which can tear and move and be it'll be a little bit more precise As you can see, to get the centre of gravity, the battery is quite far back, surprisingly. So the question is, do I put the battery there? Put all the electronics up front, see if it could be one side. VTX could be on the other. The advantage of having it on the centre of gravity line is because that's the heaviest item that both batteries will have the same impact. It'd just be more ballast. Having said that, having it long ways you've got it quite far back anyway so it's either there or like so measure twice cut once so there you are balancing perfect where my battery's gonna go. Sorry, flame wings. Um, I'm gonna use this up front area to set my receiver and VTX in. Battery's gonna go back there. Right, somebody's gonna be looking at this going, what the hell is he doing with that bit of wood? This wood is one of these. This it is um, from Ikea, the wooden Venetian blind, and this is a spare blind. They weigh absolutely nothing. I don't know what wood they are, but they're really strong. Uh, so this this is uh, an off cut. And uh, so I'm going to use this as a base plate in there, which will give it extra support. I mean, as I've taken substance away, I'm going to replace it with some additional support. Slightly proud on that edge on the lactose skids and protect the foam. Flush on the top edges because that's going to mount on the underside like so. I don't know if you can see that's all the way down and you can just see the spar one of the uh, main supporting spars so it's always worthwhile spending a little bit extra time and getting this right getting that edge nice, nice fit getting it pretty flat so it's a nice finish. I'll do the same with this side now. Now 
There you are. Two fully functioning ailerons. Elevons. So there we have it. It's starting to take shape. These stand 20 mil high. So they're 20 mil control horns. You notice I haven't stuck these in because I'm going to put the horns on before I set them in. So I'm going to zero them out on my tester, place them into position. Uh, what I normally do is zero them out with it slightly leaning forward like that. The control rods they've supplied are, I believe, carbon fibre. I'm very, very, very small. Don't like these. Plastic. New way. A lot nicer. Which means these carbon fibre rods can slot in there, bite on the grub screws, and hopefully I'll have a better, a better method of control. Bit of a beast. It's the long range free sky. Uh, once again, that's what I've got, and that's what I'm going to use. So, trying to keep all the weight in that central hub. It not only needs to be balanced that way, it also needs to be balanced that way. So... Et voila! Time for test. Right, and it's on the scales and without the battery 280 grams I'm using I'm going to use a 1.4 uh, 3 cell battery I'm fully laden with the battery is 422 grams just for you to have a good look at it 